Hey girls. So, Auntie Aggie with the five hoggets, yo lambs. That's Hope who had the awful abortion. She's doing well. She's recovered. This is the other yo that had the abortion that was, had the rotten lamb that killed the other lamb that she ended up aborting. There's the great white yoke. And I let them out, Aggie knows, don't you know? I let them out during the day into this paddock, into this field. They've got hay and grass, and at night they go up into the orchard. Because if it's frosty, I want the grass to thaw out here before they um, chomp all over it. I mean, what's interesting is, look, they've gone straight for the hay, but they have hay in the orchard. They just are going from one different kind of, that's a small bale of hay to I unpack a round bale of hay, hay for them up in the orchard. So it's just two different kinds of hays and they're enjoying the variety. Great white yoke, she's a very old lady at this stage. She's the remaining sheep from my original flock, which were Suffolk's that I got as um, bottle babies from a friend for free. And then uh, I crossed them with a neighbor's Texel ram. And she's the last of those. Poor lady, very arthritic. Her ankles are all swollen. But she's of a pretty great age at this stage. Interesting moment, time. And there's Mustard, taking in everything. So, there, this, uh, I need to grease the, this is one of my inventions. It's a towable hay rack, but I need to grease the hinges. As you can see, it's not closing properly. And you can see the great white yoke can't be arsed with eating. She's more interested in having a good scratch against my harrow. So this is amusing to me how they've gone from the orchard hay to this hay. Silly sheep. Very silly sheep. Now mustard's gone off hunting. There's a rabbit hole right in there. So the cats love hunting rabbits. Mind you, he's just scratching his claws in anticipation of his rabbit hunt. Something's occurred to make him excited. Oh, look, climbing up into the tree, no less. It must have been a bird or something that's gotten his attention rather than a rabbit. But you see that thick ivy, he can hide in there. And that's one of the holes to a rabbit hole. And there's other ones further in. He's just gone now. There must be something he's hunting in there.